Good morning. It is the second. Yeah, so the second. I'm still not used to saying that. It sounds so weird. Of January. Um, it's like almost 10 o'clock. I got up a little bit late because I went to bed a little bit late. I'm kind of like on a roll with that. Um, I normally don't stay up that late, but I have. Um, anyways, and I'm like bare faced, so just get over it. Anyways, but Dale is making me record um, a video of him doing a DIY project and. O M G. <laughs> it's kind of annoying but kind of funny at the same time because he keeps like moving too fast and I can't like get the angles and stuff. And then not only that, but <clears throat> he's um he went to go saw off a piece of the wood and he didn't even have the battery in the saw, so it's like a mess. But I'm trying not to discourage him and be like, dude, your video's like all over the place. And he keeps thinking I'm like some magic worker or something. He's like, well, just, just fix the video so it looks good. Sometimes you just can't fix those videos where they look good. You just, there's, there's no way. Like, I would have to just like do voiceovers and pictures and, oh my gosh, so, yeah. This ought to be very interesting, but he was trying to fix my coffee table, so I'll show you guys. Um, here's the coffee table I got for like eight bucks uh, last year. Yes, still funny saying last year. Anyways, but last year at um, this little yard sale that they were having for a church trip, and so anyways, I paid eight bucks for it. And Riley and Brody, the two youngest, decided that it'd be fun to climb on the coffee table and not only sit on it, but turn it upside, um, like on its side and slide down it. So I knew it and I kept telling them it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Well, I knew it was going to happen. And as you can see right here, they ripped um, some screws out. So now he has to make new pieces, like right here, um, for the coffee table legs, but... He had a mishap and he mismeasured, I should say, and it's like way too small. So he asked me not to include that in the vlog, but, I mean, his video, but this and is the And the vlog. battery's dead! <laughs> it always happens this way. Yeah, my battery is over there on the charger charging. His battery's dead. <laughs> oh, it's just a mess. Oh, make your own videos now! <laughs> Uh, as you can see, it is just a mess. We are like unprepared. You can tell that we did not like the night before say, hey, we're going to do this. Let's make sure everything is charged, laid out, everything. We did not do that. So this ought to be a very... I told her to. See, fellas, this is what happens. When you tell your woman to do something, she'll do it. That's all lies. That's all lies. <laughs> he didn't tell me. She, she didn't make anything. good breakfast, though. He was up at midnight. He knew he was going to do this. He could have charged him. Yeah. Okay. I was snoozing. Liar. You know. No, you plug in. No. Well, obviously I'm muted. Well, the coffee table um, DIY kind of went down the tube. He got mad because I was telling him that um, I couldn't record like him jerking everywhere and that a lot of it wasn't making sense. And he kept saying, "Fix it, fix it." Like I said, you can't fix certain things. So, anyways, he just said, "Fine, forget it." And being a man. So I am taking down my Christmas decorations. So, I'm which kind of sad, but kind of happy. Yeah, Preston's helping. Don't fall off the couch. So I'm taking down all of my stuff. My tree. We got most of the ornaments off, which are over there. I've got the containers, and I need to get a couple more. Um, but I've got like some Christmas stuff stuck over there. I gotta take down my town, all of that, and then I gotta move that back into the kitchen. But um, I'll insert a picture of what my tree looked like. Um, before we <laughs> took all the pretty stuff off so yeah but that's what we're doing right now is go ahead and put all this stuff away because I cannot wait to clean up do you guys see all of these pines from like the tree on the carpet it's driving me nuts and then plus my cat where did he go oh yeah see my cat uh-huh yeah you see him he's playing with the lights he likes to play with the ornaments all of that stuff so I ready to take down my tree because of that too. He's gonna end up like electrocuted like that cat on National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So it is dinner time now, which is strange because what I left off it was around like I think before lunch or something. But um, Riley has been dealing with an earache, so he was not cranky, and nobody wants to watch that. So now we are having dinner and watching Hocus Pocus, which. 
It's kind of odd that it's back on, even though it's the first year. But Dad! we all decided just to do Dad! leftovers because Dad! I see because we have um, so much in the fridge. So I am having uh, three cheese marinara, like a hamburger helper with some bread. Brody is having what looks to be mac and cheese with barbecue. I'm not sure where his pork chop went. Uh, Riley is having a spaghetti-o thing <laughs> Maybe. in a bib. It's got like sliced hot dogs in it. You are not putting barbecue in there. You do. So his dad's trying to get him to eat something because lately he has been on I don't want to eat unless it's like vainas, hot dogs, potato chips, pickles. Chips? Okay, and it's really tips to eat. It will fight your dad. Okay, we're not, we're not eating a two-year-old. You mean feeding a two-year-old? <laughs> that that came across bad. That'd be like Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. We're gonna eat the two-year-old. We gotta stay off Netflix. Okay. Anyways, as you can hear, it's loud. Preston is having pork chop mac and cheese. Daniel is having the same thing. Well, you poured it. Not my fault. <laughs> yeah. I just want a little bit. It was like half the bottle. No, almost the whole bottle. Yeah, whoever creates those um, bottles of like ranch and stuff, they need to put like a better spout on there because it never fails. He pours it and it's like a whole plate of ranch. So. Who? Me. Damn. And me one time. Yeah, and Brody did it one time. So that's what we're doing now. And then um, after dinner, I don't know what we're going to do. Do exactly, but it's just kind of been one of those days. But yeah, hopefully the rest. I was gonna do a do-it-yourself, but it's raining outside. Yeah, and so he got mad yeah. because I, I told him. Mad. Yeah, he got mad because I told him that like you couldn't be jerking around and saying like corn pump stuff. He would start the video and he would be like, "Hey y'all, my name's Dale." And he was like, "Yeah." So, anyways, he got mad and just said forget it. But that's why I ended up taking down the tree. But my living room is not all the way back to normal because, like, the kids been playing on the floor wrestling with the pillows. But my tree was right there, and then I had my fake fireplace over there and that chair over there. So it's almost back to normal, but not quite. So, and as you can see, the table's still over there. And all the Christmas stuff, other than the tree, you did take the tree out. But by the time that we got done packing up, um, it was pouring down rain which is still pouring down rain so we'll just put that out there when it clears up but yeah so now I'm going to eat and I got done. so I'm fresh out of the shower I decided that I was going to go take a bath and then Riley decided he was going to jump in so it ended up like bathing him and doing all that where's Yoshi? Well, um, we Yoshi? have decided to Yoshi. hook up the Super Nintendo in the boys room because I've been saying it like for a week. I'm like, over oh, Christmas vacation, we'll play. And then I haven't either felt like it or we've been busy going to see the lights, going out. Something of that nature. So we finally like hooked it up in their room. My it's like stuff all over the floor. The cords like everywhere. Game. Mom. Oh, Riley's back. Get on. Riley, you back. Hey. Oh, yeah, there's Brody. There's Daniel. Preston. And Riley's over there. Dell's in the living room. Hey, don't take my lives. I, I'm not trying to. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys saw that. <laughs> the closet door, Riley was messing with it. Almost got hit by a closet door. Uh, never a dull moment around here. <laughs> so, anyways, we're in here in their little bitty room playing um, Mario while Dell is <laughs> sleeping on the couch or something or watching. I think he's. I think he's watching Twilight, okay? <laughs> so, nobody. <laughs> but, don't he'll say he wasn't. He'll say he was like, you know, doing something. But, anyway, so, we're doing that. Riley's like fighting everybody for the controller. He's like, let me play. No. So let me play. Oh, it's okay. Look at his TV. I mean, look at his hair. Don't you put stickers on So, I totally ditched the kids. <laughs> I kind of got tired of hearing like them in there like, well, you're going too fast. How come you do this? Blah, blah, blah. And then sitting on like the hard floor was not working out very well. And I couldn't fit my fat butt back into my little bitty rocking chairs that used to sit in when I was like five. And the, they sat in like all four of them. So yeah, I decided that I would go ahead and take this quiet time, which is not quiet because I still hear him. The door is wide open. Riley was just up in here. But uh, to work on my grocery list. 
I don't know if anybody else has like problems when they make grocery lists, but I try to make my grocery list according to like meals. So like if I know I want to make like say spaghetti and I don't have um, say hamburger meat or pasta, I try to, you know, okay, spaghetti sauce, um, pasta or you know what I'm saying? Like I try to make my list like that or if I'm planning a special meal like what I'm doing on my cooking channel, I'm actually um, starting a new series. Um, I guess you can call it series. But anyways, it's going to be like a Disney series. Um, we love, 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 and may I say love, Disney movies. So um, anytime like The Little Mermaid, Tangled, um, uh, Princess and the Frog, Brave, anything like that comes on TV, we always watch it. Like, we've probably seen The Mermaid last year um, at least ten times. I love that movie. I, when I was a kid, The Little Mermaid, she was like, that was me. Because I wasn't blonde and I wasn't like black haired, you know, really dark. It was always like a dirty blonde with like reddish tint. So, to me, The Little Mermaid fit closer to me. But, um, anyways, I love, love her. So, I decided, because I would watch the movie, and then sometimes, sometimes you just, you draw inspiration from, like, weird places, okay? But I would watch, like, the movie, or, like, even Princess and the Frog, where there's gumbo in there, and it would be like, mmm, gumbo. So, what I'm going to do is take a Disney movie, and whatever meal, or whatever inspires me, I'm going to make a meal out of. So, I'm going to do that like once a month on my cooking um in my cooking videos I'm gonna make my regular cooking videos which I'm gonna try to do four a month one a week um and then for at least the next year I'm hoping to fit in one of those uh Disney um videos so far um according to like that which I have it in my little notebook here that I'm writing my grocery list in which I write like everything in I have like um Cinderella, Princess and the Frog, Ariel, Belle, Mulan, Rapunzel, uh, Brave, Jasmine, Pocahontas, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty. Um, I also have Tinkerbell and Elsa and Anna. So I'm still working on some of those. I'd like to make a meal and a dessert um, from the movie, something that inspires me. So um, yeah, I'm working on that. I'm pretty excited about that, really. Like, that's very exciting to me. So. Um, I'm actually starting one this month. Um, I don't want to tell you guys which one I'm working on, but I make sure that I wrote down all of the components that I need um, for that video. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I plan on doing that within the next week or two, so I'm pretty excited about that. That was, like, really excite me. But I always have the hardest time trying to figure out, like, the rest of the meals for the week. I have the meals wrote down for... My YouTube videos, and then that one, and then like a few other ones, but I like to plan my meal for every single day of the week, and it's just not working that well. Nobody's beating nobody up. Go play that game. They're in here. I died. Oh, okay. Well, next person, next turn. So, yeah. Um, I think right now I only have like 12 of those like Disney uh, movies wrote down, but hopefully... Um, well, you know, if you if you guys want me to make a meal inspired off of a Disney movie, you know, um, for instance, which would be really easy, but Lady and the Tramp, you know, there's there's the spaghetti scene in there, which is so memorable. But instead of making just like regular spaghetti, like I would definitely punch it up a notch. I mean, that's me. But um, yeah, so hopefully everything like goes well with those. Like I said, I'm really excited about those. I was supposed to start those um, last year. But it didn't work out that way um, because, like I said, I wanted to do a dinner and a dessert. And right now, I only have like maybe four or five videos, um, like where the dinner and dessert are complete, like where I have both. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to do my research and um, watch the yeah. movies, which my husband's gonna be like, "Why are you watching these?" It'll be like it's research related. Hi. Um. So yeah, he's coming in here. What do you got? Uh, where did you get that from? Hi. Hi, where did you get that from? He's got toothpaste. Yes, Mommy? Can Mommy have? Oh, okay, well, he's getting down on his pallet. Yeah, he started sleeping down there. He sleeps in his crib, but he ends up coming in here, so it's kind of helpful to keep a pallet in the floor. 
and don't mind my shoes. Like, I straightened my closet up, hung all my stuff up, but, um, my shoes are just, yeah. So, mm. alright, I have to get that toothpaste now. So I totally, like, forgot to do my squats today, so, um, while I'm sitting in bed and I'm, like, stuck on my grocery list, I decided that I'm going to, um, to go ahead and do them. So I'm actually going to do my 30 squats on camera. Why? Because there are some people out there, like me, that need to be motivated. So, what I'm going to do is just stand here. My head's probably chopped off or going to be chopped off, but I'm just going to do 30 squats. So I'm just going to put my feet apart just like that. You guys can probably hear the kids like in the background. I don't know what they're doing. I do. They're, they're, they're goofing. But, alright, I'm going to put my legs apart and I'm just going to do 10 and I'm going to pause for a second, do 10, pause for a second, and do 10 more. That is the best way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to put my legs apart, not too far apart, just like you normally would stand, you know, far enough to go down. So I'm going to go ahead and just start going with that. Now I'm totally in my pajamas, but I need to do these because I always, I'll do them tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to go ahead and touch our knees. We're going to bend down, touch our knees. Okay, poke your butt out. All right, so one, two. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back up. Pull go your legs. Bend just a little bit. Loosen up just a little bit. Riley's in here doing squats with me. All right, now ten more. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you breathe down. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, I know. Ten. Alright. Wiggle your legs a little bit more. Now the first week you need to wiggle your legs and stuff like that because they are going to hurt, especially if you're not used to doing it. But remember, it's a good pain, not a bad pain. So ten more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, these last ones start to get you, nine, and ten, and then I like to hold it just a little bit and kind of bounce. And when you do that, you can really feel that burn. So, yeah, like I said, I wanted to do that just in case somebody else like me is not necessarily a health or exercise nut. But you want to start doing something, but you don't want to go like overboard. Like I said, my main thing is working on getting my butt toned back up to where it needs to be. And, you know, flattening my stomach a little bit. Which, to be honest with you, kind of sort of doesn't make sense. Seeing how um, later on in the year I plan to be um, a lot bigger than this. So, yeah. Anyways, what are you doing? So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and rest these puppies. If you guys um, would like me to put in my squats every day, I see every day um, in the videos to help motivate you, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and we will get fit together and build our booties together. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and wipe him up because he's holding his hands. So, good night guys. I'll see you tomorrow.